big. Oh my god! Oh, now you're all the way over on that side. Hi. Can you get us uh, nope. And then can I get a scoop of fat heads and a thing of wax worms also? Yeah. All right. And for the first time this year, I'm heading up the uh, Gunflint Trail and going towards the Boundary Waters. All right, well, we've got everything ready to go. Got my backpack packed up with some camera stuff. Got my sled packed up with some cooking supplies and some camping supplies. Next, all we gotta do is hit the trail. We got about a three mile trail ride until we uh, get to where we need to go. on a trip like this again. This is a lot different than I was expecting it to be. Hopefully everybody at home is able to laugh about it. <laughs> Surprisingly, there's one other house out here besides me, but we're gonna try to uh, see if we can figure out where these trout are. I haven't fished this lake before, so we'll see if we can mark some stuff before setting up the house. Looks like somebody was here drilling before, so that might be a good sign or it might be a bad sign. Alright, so I ended up drilling three holes. Both of those two are in 15. This one's in 12. I've been jigging here for like five minutes. Got hit here once. Jigged that hole for a little bit. Didn't see anything. It's a mud to rock transition, so I think the fish are using this to cruise on. I'm gonna see if I can get hit here one more time, and or if it was just a fluke, before I go ahead and set up the house. Alright, well I just marked here again, so that's good enough for me. <clears throat> set up. I'm gonna drill at an angle like this. So when we're looking down in the holes, we can see a little more. Learn that from my good friend, Aaron Weeb. All right, I've got the parameter of the holes drilled out. Now I gotta take my ice saw and saw the rest of it. She's free. Yes. Yes. We did it. We are victorious. To the night. All right, just getting the floors installed. Odds of dropping something through an ice hole just got a lot bigger because the hole is like the size of me. Oh, that's, I'm very large then. That hole is giant. It's probably about 10 feet long, eight feet long by four feet wide. It's big. The point of sight fishing is you're supposed to have a dark house. However, I broke the zipper earlier, and so I just have the cover kind of resting over there. There's a lot of light that leaks into this house um, through the windows and stuff, so it's not as clear as I'd like it to be. 
but it's still pretty clear. This lake is also a little more uh, on the green side of things, so. That's my lure. All right, so I'm gonna get some lights in here for when it gets actual dark out, so I don't trip and fall into this giant hole. And... So this is the designated trout lake. And so I can, that means I can only have one line down at a time. Get this blue and silver spoon. And then I'm just going to put a minnow head on it. And see what happens. I mean, it's pretty visible down there. I just haven't seen what a fish looks like yet, so... Oh, 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 that thing's huge, that thing's ginormous, he was ginormous, I have, I had no idea they were that big, come back, oh my gosh, I had no idea they were that big, that fish was huge, I was expecting like a 15 incher, that thing was like 28, it was humongous. All right, everybody relax. Everybody relax. Have you ever gotten so excited about a fish you just decided to lay prone on a frozen lake? I think there's one down there again. Got him. I got him. Oh my gosh, this is chaos. He's soaking the floor. Oh, he just got off. Zynar. Dang, I didn't get to touch him. He was not nearly as big as that last one, though. Good fish, just not that big. I'd say that one was probably about 20, 20 inches, maybe. He soaked the place, though. Holy cow. All right, I was having a really difficult time. Seeing my spoon, I'm guessing it's gonna get dark out soon. Let's go check to see what it looks like outside. I'll jig for a little bit longer, see if I can get one again, but I'm not really able to see anything down there. <laughs> I'm getting pretty freaking hungry. I ain't gonna lie. Let's make some jambalaya. A little coconut oil never hurt. No. No. Oh my god! What the f bro? Oh my god. Hot jambalaya. Alright, well I've never had an accident like that happen on this channel. I haven't used this stove that much. I've only used it twice. Um, I would blame it on the snowmobile right over here and it getting tossed out once. I would also blame it on like me being a little harsh on my gear. But the thing is, is that I'm super harsh on the one that's in my truck and it works fine. And it has for, I mean, it, the first one lasted me two years and then this other one I still haven't had problems with. That was really scary I didn't realize that it was leaking that's the culprit right there it's working fine right now but hopefully it just can cook me a meal because I'm way out here I really like I mean I got enough to keep me till morning but I'm trying to catch one of those big fish dude Usually I do cook outside and I'm like, oh man, I got all this space in here, might as well. I don't know if this is a good idea. Everything will smell like jambalaya at least. I already know I'm going to get a bunch of comments saying uh, that I'm stupid for like starting the stove back up and like trying to cook. 
I could either, one, eat breakfast biscuits and like raw frozen peppers, some trail mix, and like random snacks for the next night and a half. Or I could see if I could use the stove, cook myself some jambalaya, know I can boil water to make this tomorrow, and then eat that stuff for breakfast. I mean, if I if I go ahead and say that I didn't have a stove, I might as well call the trip, you know? So sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. Uh, anyway, back to the food. Um, These sausages look very nice. The browning up, oh yes. What do you think? Does that look pretty good? I could have probably added some onions or something, but that's all right. Oh yeah, that'll work. I just got this at like Aldi. Nice camp meal if uh, you're a person that doesn't like to prep. This is like a all-in-one, all you gotta do is grab meat. All right, I can't finish it. It's a lot of food. It's completely dark outside now. I still have a giant hole. We got our ventilation door open. Um, I also have a window cracked. Just kind of sitting in here listening to some podcasts I have downloaded. Uh, I do have the rattle reel down still. So if something grabs it, you already know it's going to go off. Um, but we're kind of just waiting for the morning because these fish don't bite at night. It's only like 7.30 and I'm, I'm kind of pooped. Also, I don't, like I have no faith in catching a fish right now. So I'd rather just save my energy and wake up early in the morning. So I've got my lights right here. I can just, boop. And then I've got my phone charger and everything over there. Yeah, pretty nice little setup. Okay, well. See you in the morning. I'm going to wake up bright and early and try to catch a trout. Whoa. Good morning. Oh my gosh, it happened. The ice melted away when I was sleeping at night. Everybody's always worried about my heater, like, melting a hole like this in the ice. You know, it would take so much energy for that to happen. Anyway, I digress. Let's catch a fish. It's 6.30 right now. And hopefully I'm going to catch a giant trout. Since I can't see anything right now, I guess I might as well just use this for a little bit. Don't mind me, just ice fishing here, bud. Alright, let's see if we can get one. Big fish, whatever that was. He tried to eat it right at the beginning and he missed it. It's been about probably a half hour since I've seen a fish. I saw one like cruise almost right underneath the ice. It looked like a splake. So I'm wondering if that big fish that I saw yesterday was in a splake or a lake trout. Hard to tell. Sounds like it's snowing outside also. I don't really want to open a window because it'll probably blind me. It's always so exciting and fast when those fish come in. It's like, they try to hit it at the beginning, they get all squirrely, miss it. And then, by the time I get my wits about me, the fish sees that it's just a metal spoon and it swims away. Dude, the freaking fish came all the way up to the hole. He's like right here. I could have poked him. Dang. I would have taken a small rainbow right now. Realistically, I could have gotten by with like half of this size. We go big or go home here. It's like 9 a.m. I've had two shots at fish this morning. One was a big one at like 7.30. And another one was really little. Uh, the little one I had hooked for a second, but... But that said, I didn't catch him. I'm gonna keep changing up lures and 
putting fresh bait on, using scent. See if I can attract something in here at least. I really, really, really want to get one of those big bucks. Let me eat it. Alright, it's noon, so I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I have some Mountain House. I've actually never had this stuff before. You're curious what it looks like, because I definitely didn't know what it looked like. Here it is on the inside. All you gotta do is boil some water, add it in here. These are pretty pretty common camp meals. Right now it's looking pretty good for the trout, not so good for me. Well, it looks pretty good actually, it smells pretty good. Give it a taste test. This one's the beef stroganoff. Oh yeah, it's not bad for just being in a bag and pour, pouring water on it. I have to get some more of this stuff. All right, well, that's why they call it fishing. Put a tree in the hole to mark it so people don't fall in. Got all my stuff packed up and I am officially out in the middle of nowhere by myself and have a pretty treacherous trail ahead of me. I probably will come back to this lake. So there's some giant fish in here. So if you guys want to see another sight fishing video in the future, maybe I'll get a better camera to show you uh, the fish. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, just keep on trucking.